There we go, that's it. Versi, Versi good. Yeah, Versi is good. I have, uh, he has won a game before. You can type exclamation mark uh, leaderboards to see Versi. He has played here before, and I, once again, I have a record of the players that have won in the stream, and Versi is one of them. He used my games often. Oh, nice. Well, it, it could have been nice to have you there as well, Saheli, just to have uh, one, of the, uh, um, one of you guys uh, being, of course, uh, not enemies, but, uh, but uh, adversaries fighting in here together. Silver, of course, with the bets. I totally forget about this every damn time. Of course, there's going to be a bet on Grey soon. Uh, now, let's eat with the players from this place going in uh, clock, uh, clock, uh, clockwise. Here, first playing as the Grey Japanese, we got uh, Silnear. Then, playing as the Green Persians, we got Ace of Emeralds. Uh, it's a bad look that you got close to Silnear. Playing as the Teal Portuguese, we got Poptain. Playing as the Blue Britons, we got Cloudshow. Yes, Cloud Show. Then playing as uh, the uh, Yellow Khmer, we got Willcast with one uh, eye on, on uh, big case, um, well, higher case. And, uh, and then we've got uh, playing as the Orange Hans, we got Matthias G, 2088. And we also have playing as uh, Red France, the comeback of Bercy. Now, uh, how is this going to go? This is a this is a sudden death game, of course. Uh, I, as I said before, uh, you can win by taking down your opponent's town center, and you have to protect your own town center. So that is how this uh, sudden death works, obviously. But there is something else in here. You can actually win with a wonder this time. Of course, the the guy who has picked these settings is Popdam right here. This guy thinks, uh, or well, he picked this, uh, thinking probably that he can win this, uh, that this is his mode. So he decided to go arena with that. I would assume that what we're going to see is probably uh, fast castle into petards and some archers, I would assume. Because that, that way you can just take down the stone walls and then just kill whoever is there. But, uh, I mean, take take down the, the, the town center. Oh, have a archers? No, archers, no, just, just petards, yes. Because you don't need to kill a king. Yeah, that, that's it. You know, we once had a... a, a, a King of the Hill, Race, I saw in that game. It was a disgrace, but it was fun as fuck. Anyways, onto this area we got Cloudshot. I really want to know what is this uh, this, this this square right there, because I do not think that it's just a square that was not... Uh, that, that is... Okay, I, I, I really need to know, but I need to know as well if... Um, if you is working, it is not working, which means that I cannot see this guy's name at all. So, turn that too slow, says Sanheli. It is... How can it be too? Oh, li like uh, the 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 um, the booming, yeah, the booming is too slow. That is true. But uh, you do what you do. You have to do what you have to do. Now, onto this place, we got one uh, Matias taking all, taking his wild boar right there. He's not putting people inside his town center. It would have been faster doing it that way, but okay. Um, Wilk has been on the top of the score right now. He has decided to not destroy his uh, walls behind. Probably because he... I don't know, probably he just doesn't want to do it. But some people in uh, Southern Dead, at least for what I've seen in the in the stream, they do not delete them because they know that somebody might cut from behind. And, well, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> so if, if, you, if, you take, uh, if you take that, but okay. But okay, this game is going to be a little bit slow, as Haley says. He's actually, he's actually right with that. Because... Um, you only have one town center, and after the castle age, there's not going to be a huge boom af after uh, after the, the, they get there. It's going to just continue like that. So I would assume that the best course of action would be probably a fast imperial or a one TC push. But, uh, you know, wh when you go fast imperial, you usually do it with one town center. So I believe that that wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Then make a castle probably, and then just full full petards on your, onto your opponent economy. So that's it. I'm usually 12 TC because you play on 400 population, Sanheli. That's the reason. <laughs> You play on 400 population, and that is that that is uh, too much for me. Uh, but yeah, you you can do 12 TC on a, on a 200 game as well. But my god, <laughs> my god, <laughs> it's going to it's going to take a uh, it's going to take a lot of population right there. Just one one click, or oh, well, one shift click or whatever. Anyways, onto his side, uh, Silner just uh, taking a, a little bit of uh, of his food right there. There is uh, nothing interesting to, to be talking about at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of a game in arena, really, because these guys are all going to be protected until the castle age. So the only thing that we can do right now is uh, speculate what might happen in du during this uh, du during this game. Silner has found out that. Well, I was next to him, which means that he can take all these resources, something that Bercy can do as well, if he explores this place. I don't know if he will explore that, though. But okay. Um, but okay. This is interesting. 
If there was one more Brilliant in here, I wouldn't question this. But since we only have three, he's playing as Khmer. Uh, if he makes a farm, it's not going to work. It has been patched, if I'm mistaken. You need to have ten, ten or less food in the Dark Age in order to throw your food into a farm, if I'm mistaken. But Thames is green. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is right. Maybe you can build just a lumber camp and, and put the food in the lumber camp. Because yes, you can do that. Um, let me let me give you, let me tell you something, guys. Let me tell you something. If you have food. For example, this guy might have 35 food right there, or you have wood, and then you build a, a lumber camp or a mining camp or a mill. All the resources you had are going to go to your to the bank, right there. They are going to go to the bank, regardless of what you build. You can have a lot of gold, but if you make a lumber camp in here, all the gold that you build had are going to go are going to go uh, to your bank. So yeah, that's uh, that's a thing actually. It just uh, for so people that didn't know that, that is a uh, one. Uh, Discovery you have right there. Just wonder if you picked or not. Uh, what, what is it? Looks like a... Where's Kalkoko? Is Kalkoko here? No, Kalkoko is not there. Well, I would assume that maybe he will have something to talk about with Ace of Emeralds because uh, they seem to have made some kind of uh, good um, good friendship in the game uh, before this one. Okay, Silner is now on the field age and so is Matthias G2088 to his place. The farms are coming a little bit late in my opinion and looks like he has taken all his deer as well, or well, Alex as well. I don't know if this guy is going to go fast castle, I don't think he will because he's now making a blast with only one villager, I don't think that's going to happen. On the side, Silner is not doing it either, he has one, he has barracks in here, I don't think that he's going to the castle age. Yeah, but yeah, well, they, they were kind of fast uh, in there. I wonder who's going to be the first one to get there. Probably Ace of Emeralds is going to be is going to be the first one to cast it because he is uh, doing uh, exactly what he should do. Well, he needs some some farms right now. Sh Klaus Show has advanced to the field right now, being the th uh, the third one to get there. Oh no, he was not the third one. Bercy has advanced as well, and so has Wilcast. They all advanced at almost at the same time. This guy playing as a hammer, of course, he doesn't need to build anything. He the only thing that he needs is to get enough food to advance to the next age, and that's going to be it. And if he does have that, then he can just. Uh, advanced right now. He doesn't need any buildings to go to next stage. In here, Matthias G, uh, who was the first one to get to the to the to the field age, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe he is now making a barracks, which is interesting. Okay, Bob Tame has made it to the castle uh, to the field age right now, and, and uh, so has uh, Cloud Show. As you can see here, uh, will cast as well. Well, the, I think that we have already seen them. The only person who is still on the dark age right now is Ace of Emeralds, who. Um, Ace of Emeralds, who is really not building a lot. He's taking... Uh, oh, he's going to do his, his stuff, okay. He's going to go for all the resources that are outside his base and then then take whatever is inside. Okay, I, I understand that because once again, I, what I think he thinks is that he's going to take all the resources that are all the way outside so that when he's in need of resources, he's just going to take whatever is here, safer in his base. I used to think like that as well. So, yeah, I believe that that is his train of thought. And to decide, well, nothing really. Nobody is advancing to the castle age. Probably Silnear. Probably Silnear. And he has made uh, archers in here. What is the point of that? Um, he's playing as a Japanese. Oh, probably he's just going to go for the relics, yes. I, I think that, that that's it. He's going to go for the relics in, in there, in here. And... What else do we have? Bercy, Jose... Uh, my god, dogs once again. God damn it, uh, a second here. Okay, there we go. Now we got a microphone. Um, there we go, Bercy just uh, uh, exploring apparently on this side. I wonder who's going to uh, take this. But, uh, you know what? If Ace of Emeralds come onto, uh, onto this side and walls this for himself, I'm going to be surprised and it's going to be amazing. Bercy being the first one to advance to the castle edge right now. I do not see a castle coming from him, which means that I will not see petards coming uh, either. Uh, so what's going to be uh, built in here is the question. Probably another house? I'm not sure. Claucho has made it to the castle age as well. He's going to go for a... I don't think that it's going to be a castle either. Or maybe it will. No, apparently not. That's not going to be a castle. Wilkas has advanced to the castle age as well. And there we go. A monastery coming up right there to take all the relics. Let's see. Well, this woman has this habit to just come back. Will, onto this, on this side, uh, he's also not making anything, any castle or whatever. So I think that petards are not going to be seen. Uh, for now, everybody is there except uh, Matthias and uh, Ace of Emeralds. On to this side, Pop Tame making... Is this a fast Imperial? Because it kind of looks like a fast Imperial. He's going with a monastery and going with a university. And how many... Well, 
if he has like uh, if he went up with 26 28 villages i would assume that that's the case but okay um is there enough food in here and in order to go fast imperial you should uh, sell your your stone and okay i see a market i wonder if this guy's going to be the first one to get there uh, because now he's going full full stone which might indicate to me that if he's going fast imperial he's going to make a castle and then make a lot of petards and probably or, or maybe trebuchets even yeah trebuchets would make sense trebuchets would make sense portuguese trebuchets why not uh, matthias g has advanced to the castle right now finally he has made it uh, right there pretty much the hits in the houses with he kind of make houses either um, no, he cannot, or he doesn't need houses. So, what is it going to be made right there? I hope it's not a monastery. Because monastery outside your walls, well, it's really not, not going to work that well. Outpost coming up onto this area, that is okay, I, I guess. It's going to give him a little bit of vision. And still, the other first thing that he's going to go for is, of course, some archers and his monastery. That is going to be built somewhere in the middle, of course, so that he can just create a, create a, a monks, take the relics, and bring them back to his a, town. It's a little bit costly, but yeah, that's what he. Does? She's worship! I was totally not expecting that. I was expecting Silner to go with his archers and uh, and take the relics. Really, I was totally expecting that. But apparently that's not what we will have. We will have uh, one uh, Ace of Heavens being attacked. Okay, well, actually makes sense because uh, this is completely uh, completely abandoned. So I don't think that trying to colonize this place now makes a lot of sense. You want to kill your opponents as fast as you can. Uh, San Heli, he's going for Fatoria. Um... It could be possible. If it was Tipe, I would say yes, he's going for Fretoria, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. He could be going for Fretoria. You, you know what? Probably you're right. Because I do not see a, I do not see a, a castle, but I see a lot of houses. So that makes a lot of sense, going for Fretoria and then bombard towers or whatever. But yeah, we got a siege workshop on this side. Probably there's going to be a manual coming uh, after that. Ace of Feminals still on the Field Age with a fragile economy, I would say. But it really, th but does it really matter? In the end, you do not, do, you do not uh, benefit from going to the Castle Age except for the new units that you get, really. Um, I don't think you do. Because you will, it's not like you will be able to make more villagers. Of course, going to the next age will allow you to get wheelbarrow and stuff. But, 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 but still, man, but still. Um... What else do we have here? A castle going up with just one villager, because why would you need more? A barracks that will probably create its units in here. <laughs> it would be fun, I would laugh if this happens. But yeah, a, a will castle to this side, he is making a lot of houses, and that red lagging has popped in. That means that you have to kill the guy, probably. <laughs> uh, I would assume that, that that's going to be it. And yeah, pop Tame has advanced to the Imperial Age, a fast Imperial indeed. And Fatorias now happening right there, just as Sanheili predicted. So yeah, Sanheili now being our... Uh, our uh, fortune teller, officially, he knows what's gonna happen because he can see the future, right there. It was not because of any ability, Sangeli, I know that you have hidden powers and that's how you made this happen. I know it. It's not because of experience, you have a crystal ball or something. I will not believe anything else you tell me. And uh, I mean, anything else about that. I know that you have a crystal ball or probably, I don't know, you, you, you are a, you're a, you're a, you're a witch in secret. I, I don't know, man. But you can see the future and I... Uh, when will I die, Sangeli? Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know. Oh my god. Okay, Grey Scary is a set of Emerald. Yes, he is scary. Really scary. But how do you know? Because you don't have an outpost to see all these plays, really. Probably because of the Pope, for, for all the points. I'm going to say Pope. But yeah, probably because of the points. Uh, that, that might be it. Uh, right now, we got Matthias just uh, checking this, this place. All the portals do that in, in my games, but there's so much gold on the map that, that Victoria is useless. Really, uh, that, that, that is true. Whenever <coughs> I go, uh, uh, whenever I go in team games as Porto, if, uh, in 2v2v2v2, 2v2, 2v2, um, I go with all the resources that are around and then full Victoria to sling my ally. But, yeah, but, but that's me. That, this actually makes sense, going fast Imperial into Fatoria, but, uh, but but getting resources with your villagers is faster. But then again, this is this is uh, safer. Uh, it, it just depends on how you look at it, really. This is going to pay pay off if, if this guy doesn't get attacked. If he gets attacked, it's not going to be funny. Anyways, castle in place, I would, decide, I, would uh, I would think that maybe here would be a better place, really, because uh, this uh, because this uh, Bangladesh can attack from this side. So yeah, this castle in here would have been a better option. But uh, but uh, let's see what Ace of Emeralds does. Really, this this is not going to protect a lot. Really, probably here or here would have been better. Once again, if he does have enough stone to make another castle, I would uh, I would uh, uh, I would like for for the castle to be somewhere around here. 
Anyways, now a signal is going outside to try to get as much uh, as much stone and gold as he can. This area Versi is getting all the relics he can as well onto this side. He's trying not to attack anybody. I do not see anybody attacking nobody really uh, yet right now. I see a long bomber in here and that's it. The only battle that battle that we have right now is of course this one between Ace of Emerald, well, from Silner attacking Ace of Emeralds onto this side. And do we have any kind of... Why are you making actual ranges? I know that you want to take these guys with a... With a... With the less skirmish, but I believe that maybe Mangonets would be a better a better idea. Why? Because this guy is attacking you with Mangonets that he's going to use against your skirmishers. And probably uh, with Mangonets you, you can take more of this crossbowman faster. I would assume that that would be a nice thing to... To, to do. Or, or to get even. Yeah, there is a castle in here. So the only thing you do is just evade the castle. Just... Do not go for the castle and go on this way. So that, that was the problem. Now we got Cruz Woman in here from the Persians. Of course, I don't know if Commander Rang has been done. Uh, but that would be huge. If Commander Rang has been done. Oh, look at that. We got popped. In. There is one elephant in here. Why only one? Uh, maybe maybe sending more would be a good idea. And doing hot boundary would be another good idea. But yeah, let's wait and see how this will play out. In here, of course, the Mangal is going to come. And the attack is going to happen soon. Yeah, there we go. The attack on the town center. This sudden death game, of course, it will end when uh, what well, is will end for a player when the town center goes down. The repairs, of course, coming up to this place. They are all going to start the repair now. Remember, the Persians have twice the amount of HP on their town center. So let's wait and see how this will play out. Of course, there we got a dead elephant. They do not have any defense apparently. So yeah, they will receive uh, five damage per uh, per close woman. Will this go down? I don't think so. But maybe now is a good moment for Ace of Emeralds to wall this back. It wouldn't be uh, a bad idea to use to, to do that. The, another elephant bites the dust right now, while well, this one's town center keeps getting attacked. God damn it, the dogs, man! My my neighbor's dogs, they are so 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 loud. Once again, I said the smaller the dog, the louder it is. I don't know why, but that is a sad reality. Anyways, these guys with only f uh, well, they have a uh, botkin arrow, and looks like uh, Super Mario have better better uh, upgrades right now. He has plus one defense in here, and there we go, they are dead. Uh, well, that was a late, uh, that was a really late uh, 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 split right there. Once again, I think it would be a good idea to rewall this, once uh, to wall that. And uh, why don't you attack this uh, mangler instead? I, I do not understand that. But okay, there we go. This elephant is going to die. Another one bites the dust. Mangonel, will it survive? Yes, it survives. Looks like, uh, well, Ace of Emeralds could have protected this, uh, instead, uh, instead of using elephants, maybe he could have used, uh, um, he could have used mangonels. It would have been a better idea, in my opinion. And now these guys can die. Oh, well, they, they might die, if they get hit by this, uh, the, this mangonels. There are a lot of mangonels, well, there are three mangonels in here, it's hard to micro against them. But it's still possible. Uh, do we have any other kind of battle here? No, we got one villager building a castle up onto this side. We got Bercy really just booming now on the Imperial Age, being the second one to get there. And uh, I wonder if Popdam is going to do anything else that is not Fatorias. He's now making castles up onto this area. I, 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 I want to know what he's going to go for. Anyways, now we got a town center that has been repaired. It has been repaired for the, since the beginning of the times. And what are these villagers doing here? Probably another castle. I would assume that that's going to be another castle. Will it go that? Oh my god. This is desperation right there. Whenever you start attacking with villagers, that, that's just a clear sign of desperation. It will work. <coughs> Somehow it will work. But, okay, good. These villagers are all crammed onto, uh, crammed onto this area. We got a, a little bit of a, a wood income. And there we go with the castle. Where this one should have been placed at, in the beginning. This is where the castle should have been at the beginning. But yeah, this is going to just uh, end it all. Probably. Unless this guy, uh, th this guy micros it uh, 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 in, a, in a really godly way, I don't think that this castle is going to be stopped. Yeah, it will not be stopped. Okay, there we go. With now battle runs coming for this castle right here. Probably, or, or maybe for the town center, I'm not sure. But yeah, there we go. This uh, push has been stopped for now. And now all the builders are going to come and take all their farms they deserve. On the side, we see barracks. So somebody is going to attack with uh, uh, champions, I would assume. I don't know how good is that idea. Everybody now is reaching the Imperial Age except the Ace of Emeralds. That is a problem. Uh, Silnar is not there either. Yet, but he will probably go with a... With a... 
with trebuchets or something. I do not see his castle, but he has deleted all the farms that were around this town center so that he can wall this later, probably. Which is actually a good thing to do or have. So yeah, anyways, uh, I don't, I still do not know why Ephemerals is not walling his uh, this back. Not with a, not with a gate, with just, with, 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 uh, with proper walls. I don't know why he is not doing that. To his side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Fatorias. For Poptin, the guy who picked the safe, safe Fatoria, that is 140 population. So he wants to have a uh, half of his population with Fatorias, apparently. Well, not half, but only 110 uh, units that are not Fatorias outside. I wonder what he will uh, do with that. Oh, 45 world has come. And uh, we have no words come. Oh, there we go. We got a lead throwing axe money here from Bersi. He's going to take down this outpost as fast as, they, as he can. He's going to take this one down as well. But we have some uh, cavalry action from the Huns right here. I wonder why why these guys that are playing as Huns are not going with uh, with Tarkans. Because this is not, not the first time in the day that we see my leg is stitching so much. Uh, it's, it's not the first time that we see somebody going as Hans in a sudden dead game and they are not doing Tarkans. They are going for uh, Paladins instead. I have no idea why that is, uh, what the reason could be. Anyways, the Ephemerals have come onto this side to take a little bit of this stone that probably Bob Tim is not going to use because he has a lot of Fatoria. And another castle coming up onto this place. That is nice. The problem is that once Sinner gets to the Imperial Age, uh, he will just go full trebuchet on you. And, how, and what are you going to do then? Hopefully, this is, uh, these are Commander and Crossbowmen. And then you just uh, overchop everything. That would be nice, so that you can create crossbowmen out of thin air. Uh, Silnar has finally made it to the Imperial Age. He's protecting his town center with a castle right here. Ever has rip me, rest, uh, rip in pieces, obviously. That is what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm waiting for this attack to happen. Everybody is now on Imperial Age except Ace of Emeralds. Well, Ace, you are not going for the gold. Oh, no, he, he has some people on the gold, but he has enough... In my opinion, he has enough food to, to advance. This needs to be walled, bro. This needs to be walled. I, I don't know how you, you you will do it, but but this this needs to be walled. And then you get uh, to the Imperial Age and go with uh, Onagers. Onagers would do great. Onagers and uh, probably Elephants, but yeah, Onagers would do great against this. Uh, where is your Siege Workshop? I do not see any Siege Workshop, but this is the most worrisome place in the whole uh, map right now. Nobody else is fighting. Looks like Pop Tame is having just a good... Uh, a good uh, a chill moment onto this place. Uh, Cloud Shaw, he doesn't care about his town center apparently. Oh, wait, 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 Oh, but this guy knows. Okay, somehow, oh, because probably this trebuchet. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah, well, that, that was a nice try. I have to admit, that was a nice try. But we heard that. So, yeah. I wonder how the, 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 the Cloud Shaw knew. The range of this uh, of this trebuchet is just too big, so probably that was it. Now this uh, little moment will probably die to the attack of these guys. My God, 12 range, 12 range. Both of them have 12 range. And there we go. We need another. We need another uh, another onager coming from this place. And then taking this uh, this town center is not going to be that hard if this guy manages to do what he's trying to do. But yeah. Uh, no, to be one. What do you mean to be one? Okay, we got an attacking here. And do we have an attacking here? Yes. Well, that is uh, that is sad. But apparently, Matthias is going to be killed first. Uh, uh, taking down this bomber cannon, who should be easy with these heavy cavalry archers, and dealing with this is not easy. Dealing with this is, is, is kind of easy. But the problem is that this is Bersi, and this is not a bad player. This is actually good. And now, once this bomber cannon goes down, well, uh, okay, it's, it's just leaving. But yeah, he's going to be one right now. Meanwhile, we have this battle in here. We don't have any energy. Oh, there we go. We have another energy coming. And opening this is not going to be that hard in the end. Uh, Trebush is now attacking this castle. This can be repaired forever, man. But uh, now, so something I always ask myself. Once you repair it, what are you going to do? W what is your plan after you repair this? I mean, you're just repairing this because you can repair it? You're not going to mount an, off an offense in there. You're not making onagers or, or even a, a, or even a mangoners. So I don't think that uh, that, that repairing. Uh, well, you're just delaying the inevitable right now, in, in my opinion. One, one castle could do a lot of damage here. Probably fo making this castle focus this mangoes would be a good idea as well. Uh, yeah, he's doing just that, or maybe he just doesn't have more holes. And that's it. That's it for this guy right now. Onto this area, looks like uh, looks like Matthias is just trying to survive. Well, he has a lot of uh, ranged units in here, and all of them are going to attack this system. That is a problem. The discoveries are going to do just a little bit of damage to this uh, ballista elephant. It's going to be nice, but this town center is going to go down. There is no question about it. I wonder, really, I wonder if uh, if Ace of Emeralds will, will be surviving after that. But yeah, now we get this. The the roll has been done. 
and Pope Dame says uh, G G because yes, Cloud Show is now dead. Well, that was unexpected, but it happened. Probably the next one is going to be Wilkas if this guy decides to continue the way he's doing it right now. But look at that, he was being attacked on this place as well. But I don't think that there is th there are a lot of things that are going to happen in here. Ace of Emeralds has managed to get to the Imperial Age, and now he's trying to defend with his uh, commander and crossbowmen. He needs to. He has only five uh, uh, archer ranges and not many people in the wood, so that is kind of a problem. Probably taking all these villagers outside. Well, now he will need them to repair. But probably taking all these villagers behind uh, b before and making them go for this uh, wood would have been a better idea. Put all these uh, crossbowmen under this town center, so, so, that, so that the trebuchets attack the, the crossbowmen instead. But yeah, this is probably over now. There are three, uh, three trebuchets, go no, one, two, three, four, five of them coming up into this place, and you're not doing anything with these crossbowmen, so... Yeah, this is going to be the end. Uh, some of these uh, shots are being used on, uh, on villagers in here, as you guys can see. And the next shot is going to probably be the last one. Yeah, that's going to be it. The last shot. Maybe some more villages would have been needed, but this is GG. In the end, some of the skirmishes were put there, and that was a, a, a nice attempt. Anyways, Pop Team probably uh, coming in here to go for the next one would be a good idea. Uh, we got Matias in here defending as best as he can against two. Well, this guy's not attacking anymore. Now he's just defending against one person in here. Uh, you know what? Some, something that that could be uh, uh, could be nice would be uh, use rams against ballista elephants because yes, rams have bonus against ballista elephants because they are considered there are six weapons as well. They are the only six weapons that can be healed. Imagine that. But it's actually true. Ace of Emeralds has a huge ping right there. So probably uh, leaving the game would be uh, would be good for everybody else. So onto this place. A lot of trebuchets you're destroying whatever is here. Probably they will uh, probably see now will take all these gold mines and all these storm mines and everything. It's going to be just fine right here. Onto this area we got the heavy cavalry archers just taking down all this season. My god. But uh, uh, Pop Team, bro, it's time to come in here, right? I would assume that what you want to do right now is go this way to go for the for the next victim. So where are your bomber cannons? They, they have they come back? Apparently yes, they have come back. Uh, well, that is something that I was not expecting, obviously. Oh, okay. Oh no no no. For a moment I thought that there was something coming in here, but yeah, I was totally not expecting uh, the bomber, the bomber cannons to go back. Why would you send them back? Why don't you just continue with your with, with this area advancing? Anyways, looks like Matthias has managed to uh, send these guys uh, back, and now he's going to be attacked by this uh, Frankish guy, Bercy, on this on this place. Of course, fighting against Elytro and Axman is, go is not going to be good. And the are not going to do a lot of damage against uh, Elytro and Axman. One more shot, and this castle is going to go down. 96 HP, and that's it. It goes down. Well then, these elite skirmishers are not going to do great, once again, these guys are not, uh, well, they are ranged units, but they uh, count as infantry. A lot of them will probably die on the way in here. Will they kill these trebuchets instead? Yeah, okay, the trebuchets are dead, and now it's time to go for the town center. I wonder if you can... Okay, this guy apparently is going to try to open this place so that he can get the rest of his army inside. But it's probably time to take this town center down right now. It will be, uh, it will be a nice attempt. For some reason, looks like Matthias is not guarding this town center. Okay, now he's putting people inside, but but uh, but this is not gonna work. Uh, Throwing Asma just straight through through uh, through trash, and they completely destroy trash onto this place. We got another siege workshop. We get this onager right here, which is good. Probably it's time to just advance to the next place, which is going to be this one, and it's completely open, so it would be nice to get in here as fast as possible. So onto this side, what do we get? A lot of elite throwing axemen coming. Uh, taking this town center is the only thing that you need, my friend. That there is nothing else that you that you need from that. You could have done that, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this could have been uh, done if this guy decided to come in here instead of going for this village. I don't know what he's trying to do. And it was dead next to Grace as Emeralds. Well, yeah, it's it's, it's that, that is probably um, that's probably true. You know that Silner is a uh, is strong. But okay, it's time to take down the town center. And there are so many. So, uh, this this throne are the only ones that. Uh, did this guy not, not know that this is sudden death? Why is he not taking this town center down already? I, I do not understand that. Well, he's sending now more Elytro announcement, but, but still, it's, it's kind of weird, in my opinion. 
But yeah, he he has had two opportunities to take down the stone center, and he's not doing that just yet. And uh, what, probably he prefers to do it with all the years. I, I don't know. There, there are many, many many things that I would like to know. Sadly, I have no information or, or well, no confirmation of anything on this. There is now a trebuchet coming up into this place. I don't know what they what this is going to try to hit. Probably the sonagers, I would assume. And with the amount of sonagers that are right here, probably it's going to uh, it is going to be able to just hit one of those. I would assume. But anyways, Electro Nasman about to take down this trebuchet, and Matias, the game is over for you. That's it, the town center goes down, the game has been completed for uh, Matias. Why don't you finish the guy? I do not get that one. Oh, okay then. Okay, now it's time to finish, I guess. Why? Is he playing with this guy? Well, he, he's obviously playing Age of Empires, but, but still. Nine... Nine, uh, 9 HP remaining and Matias has been defeated. It is... That is all. So, now there is another... Oh, I hear... I, Oh, it's just this. Well, for a moment I thought that there could be another uh, another uh, snipe from this guy. But no, that didn't happen. Pop Team Knight coming with a lot of arrow lessons on this side, and... Uh, well... Uh, well, he, he should go for uh, for Silna right now, but it's going to, be, uh, going to be kind of hard to do so. But yeah, the, that is something that you probably should do. We'll cast onto this place, trying to enter to, to Cloud Show. I think that it would be uh, uh, okay if uh, somebody traded with this, really, but it's too close to the wall, so probably it's going to be destroyed, released by whoever comes right there. So in here we got Matias dying still with his zombie army. Of course he's going to be able to take down the Sonager, and now let's see how this will play out. I... Well, I, I don't know. These guys have 5 range, and these guys have a... Uh, Seven range. That is not uh, a huge difference. A at least, at least not, not, not in here. But okay. But okay. In this place, I'm still waiting for uh, this onager to make the cut. But it will not happen. But what will happen though is a uh, pop team against uh, Silar onto this place. So finally, it's time to advance. Yeah, there are a lot of bomber cannons up onto this area. These guys are going to probably be destroyed right now, and we got a lot of trebuchets coming. Of course, they will uh, unpack really fast and then start attacking probably this uh, this uh, bomber cannon. No catapato. Catapato has not been researched yet. And yeah, they are going to attack these arbalesters. And yep, there we go. The attack on these uh, on these trebuchets is going to happen. Probably attacking, at, using these bomber cannons to attack these trebuchets would, would be a better idea, in my opinion. But, uh, but what do I know? What do I know? To the side, most of these trebuchets have been taken down, and, uh, well, this should be taken down as well, but apparently that's not gonna happen. We got a lot of lessons coming up here from, uh, from Silnear. He's going to just, yeah, take this bomber cannon and then just leave. That's what you need. Probably taking down this, this other uh, uh, trebuchet would be a good idea. Anyways. Looks to me that Wilcast is going to go now for either Pop Tame or Versi. Who's going to be that the, the person that is going to be uh, uh, that's going to be attacked? Because somebody here is going to be two v one. Somebody here is going to be two v one. I don't know who that person is going to be, but somebody is going to be two v one. But okay, I hear Siege even in the darkness. Says Angeli. I knew it was. Did you tell them he's trolling him? Oh, yeah, I did tell them at the beginning of the game. Yes, I did tell everybody that this was. Uh, uh, a sudden death game. As you can see here, you only have one TC, and if it dies, you die. Kill all TCs. Good luck, have fun. I said that at the beginning of the game. There is the proof, irrefutable proof, that I did uh, uh, tell uh, tell them the settings of how to play this. So okay, somebody's going to, gi to, to get to be one. Who is that going to be? Silner or Pope Team? Probably because of the score, I would assume that it's going to be Pope Team. Um, but maybe Wilkas is going to come in here and uh, and, and do something. I, I don't know. Look at that, we got a tiger right there. Tiger Rush coming in here. And now, well, we got 45 gates going down, and I believe that this is actually possible. That Pokte might be able to take this down. But the problem is, if Bersi comes up to this place and completely destroys this base, then Silner will survive. And Silner is kind of a lucky guy. So if that, that is, if there is a possibility of that happening. Don't come here, Red. Don't come here, says Pokte. And uh, I do not remember the last, the last time this uh, technique worked, saying do not come here and, and people just not going there. So now, Pop Team, what are you gonna do? Are you going to defend or are you going to finish and defend? I would say that finishing and defend would be the best course of action right now. And this fortified gate, now it's going down. And uh, the castle is, oh no, the castle is not going to be taken down yet. But yeah, fortified gate goes going down, finally, it is right Almost, almost 178 uh, HP down, and yeah, you could probably ignore this right now. You could probably ignore uh, this castle. Is there. Okay, good. You could probably ignore this right now, finish this, and then uh, and then react to this. Probably that would be okay. 
Probably that will be okay. But yeah, I was expecting somebody to get 2v1, and that person is, of course, going to be pop tame right now. This castle will go down, and if these guys survive, they can take this town center down as well. So let's go and see how this play out. Pop tame taking down Silner. Can you believe it? I was totally not expecting something like that to happen. But yeah, there we go. Pop tame with all the bomber cannons in the world. Yeah, this is not going to be uh, able to be saved. Silnear has been killed. Silnear has been defeated. And that is it. And back onto the side, we get uh, now Versi, who will probably just. Uh, yeah, he will make a base in here. And now that Silnear is gone, well, it is time to defend on this on this on this area. Yeah, uh, Arbalis is not going to be a good option, I believe. They're, they're going to be a good option. With all these bomber cannons from the other side, from attacking from, from one side, there's going to be a lot of damage being made. But we don't only we don't only have that, we got Wilkas onto this play with a lot of heavy scorpions and elite ballista elephants. One, one thing that you can do against is a lot of managers. Or maybe or maybe using these bomber cannons could be could also be a good idea. You know what else would be a good idea? To explore this place and see how you can destroy this town center. That would also be a nice thing to do or have. But yeah but yeah, now where are these bomber cannons going to go? Because if these guys die, I believe that all these guys are going to die. That is a lot of gold being, lo being uh, wasted right there. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. Well, uh, yeah, these guys are probably going to die eventually, soon. And more of them are being created. But it, does it really matter when you have Fatoria behind that? Does it really matter? That is the question. And this guy's on the other side, by the way, uh, po from Pop Team. So sniping him is going to be kind of difficult, but yeah, all this, all this, uh, all, all this, uh, all this gold, man, it it hurts to be seen. It just uh, it's painful. Look at that, all it's being wasted, lost now. That that's a lot of that's a lot of gold and, food and wood uh, used. But Fatorias probably doesn't care about it. Okay. Now we got some harvesters coming here, they are not a great or anything, but yeah. I wonder if Wilkas will attack a Bercy and not po or Pop Team, really, because there's going to be red skill in me. Yellow, get him while you, while, why you can. Yes, you could do so, but will you do that? Look at that, we got one Will uh, Wilkas exploring this place. He's just looking what he can find, and what he will find is a base that doesn't have any kind of defense inside. So yeah, this can be taken down easy. So where are we, or what are we even doing? What are we even doing in here? Pop Tame, just defending, uh, Wilkas is going to go for red apparently, yes, it looks like his army is going to go right there, and the, and the attack is going to just, uh, it's, it's going to happen soon, it's going to happen soon, everybody that has a red pink apparently is staying, Ace of Emeralds is staying, uh, Signal is staying, uh, Bercy as well, well Signal is now better, but yeah. There we go, Elite Ballista Elephant's coming all the way right there, and Pop Team can obviously take down uh, Wilkas. If, uh, if if Wilkas stays down uh, Bercy, then Pop Team can completely destroy this guy. Well, the angst is Pop Team. Um, this is not going to work. This is not working, he might say. I believe that it would be a good idea to use <coughs> Origin Guns. Wouldn't be that, wouldn't be, would be a good idea to use Origin Guns right now. Maybe some castles or bomber towers in here as well, just to stop this from, from advancing. Maybe, that wouldn't be that bad. But now it's time for Bercy to shine. Uh, I mean, Wilkas to shine. He's coming here with a lot of uh, of, uh, of uh, siege rounds. He's coming with a lot of ballista elephants, a lot of heavy scorpions. But the only thing that can take down buildings, I, I mean, uh, uh, walls, are these uh, siege rounds. So you're going to just... Uh, are you going to just stay here and attack this? Well, it's, uh, it's still a possibility, but anyways, Bercy, you need to finish this guy and then defend, or will you go back, defend, and let Pop Team leave? What is your choice? It is all up to you right now. Yes, Bercy, you to be one Pop Team. I don't think that Pop Team or uh, will care about that, or, or even Wilkas. If anything, well, if you if you try that, then probably, uh, well, whoever whoever kills with iron dies with iron. Or whatever is the, is the saying in English, I don't know. Yeah, but it's a pretty bad versus Bomber Cannon and Arb. Yes, they are. <laughs> I neither have cavalry or Bomber Cannon, so nothing to call it. Yes, it's in there. I know. I have lived that. It is horrible. Uh, but yeah. Um, you could try to convert, probably. But okay. Uh, castle now go, is going to go down. And uh, let's see. Versi is going to finish this as fast as he can. He needs to finish this as fast as he can. If he doesn't, then uh, he will be killed. And probably Wilkas is going to be the next one coming up onto this place. You do not need to kill uh, to kill Wilkas yet. Probably would be a good idea if you let... Well, well uh, Popten doesn't know that this is happening right now. Um, I don't know why Wilkas is, has decided to destroy all this instead of advancing and taking down the town center, because obviously he can. But why are you running away? It doesn't matter. If you lose the town center, you're dead. I said that at the beginning of the game. So there is no point on, 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 on that. There is now an, a barracks coming up onto this place. Why do we have barracks? You, you can only make so many uh, halber deals from that. And it's not going to work because you have some. Uh, you got a lot of literal announcement behind this. So, probably the best thing you can do is scorpions, I would say. But whatever. 
I'm coming, I'm going, says Mercy. I'm going, going where? I'm going, peace, peace. <laughs> After you did all this, you want peace. Yes, uh, Pop Tame should know that something so, something's wrong in this place. And with all the villagers going out, going outside, I think that there is there's no there's not going to be anybody left to protect this town center. Nobody. But yeah, uh, Pop Tame is waiting right here. Wilkas is there, and probably he can wait until this battle ends. It, it would be a good idea to just explore this a little bit. I think he knows about the TC. Yeah, probably he doesn't. But, but, but once he realizes that he cannot make a new TC. Well, that's going to be it. And that's it. It's open. Go for the TC, Wilkas. Because that's what you need to do. Go for the TC right there. And please, uh, tame, just wait until the perfect time to take this guy down. There we go. Nothing in here. The the castle has been taken down. And the relics are going to be taken down as well, as you guys can see, onto this side. What is protecting this? Nothing, basically. But there we go with another uh, battle. So this is uh, basically who kills the town center first. Who's going to be the first one to kill the town center? Apparently, Wilkas... Don't tell me that you're going to go back! He's going to go back. I... They don't know, yep. Well, they should. Um, if the town center goes down, they die, so... Uh, they should know that. He even goes back when the, with the siege run, yes. Well, before quitting. <laughs> and that, that's that's stupid. That's that's ridiculous. I mean, the first... Yeah, the, why the... Why the rams, man? Uh, if these guys get here and take down this town center, then that, then that would be nice. Imagine if Versi leaves his town center because he wants to make a new one in there. Imagine if that happens. Imagine if that happens. He would be suiciding right there. But my god, why the rams? Um... Oh my god, yeah, well, I, I told them at the beginning, so th there is nothing that, that I can say. Why would you lose, yeah, a lot of units are going to be lost in here. But why would you pick, put the, the siege runs, uh, bring the siege runs back? Why are these guys not attacking these? This doesn't make sense. At all! Versi now with a new economy here and nothing protecting that. Yellow dope, says Versi. Uh, bro! Yellow is, is, is easily killable by Pop Tame's sta uh, uh, standards. Yeah, Pop Tame can, can completely kill this guy. What we need is Bercy to just take... You know what? Probably Bercy loses this, and then this guy continues his uh, road onto this town center. There is one uh, siege ram here. Why do not put this siege ram to the front, right? There, just advance, and you uh, kill that uh, town center. W wouldn't it be bad? It wouldn't be bad, right? So now you're defending here. There's probably going to be a gate out in this place, and uh, we'll cast... Just send this 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 ram into the front, please. Come on, man. It's 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 a little bit. Uh, there are rams in here as well. You know what? You you. I don't know, guys. You can feel the frustration right here because it was so close. Once this town center goes down, it's all over. It's all going to be over. And something that uh, that Pop Team can do is probably come all the way in here as well to try. To, oh, it's going to take forever, man. It's going to take forever. There are a lot of uh, halberdiers coming up in this area. And yes, if this halberdier make it to this place and take down this town center, then that's going to be it. Apparently, Pop Team is the only one who knows how to kill people. And in yeah, yes, as I said, I said that would happen. He will delete his town center to try to make a new one here. Just as I said. Just as I said. Three dots. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's it. Pop Team probably wins right now. Okay, now it's time. <laughs> oh, he only his Stone Center in order to make a new one. Yeah, well, <laughs> Sudden Dead, man. You can read it here. Uh, sudden Dead mode, yes. I told them. I told them. Uh, Bercy, I said at the beginning it was Sudden Dead. Kill TC, die. But yeah, he killed his own TC. And now it's time for Wilkas to die. If these guys make it, um, and they might make it, versus the leader his town center. Yeah, now he is, uh, he's laughing only. Didn't know, bro. I said, I said that when the game started. Started. First time playing. It's not your first time. You have played it here again uh, before. Do not, do not give me that. You have, been, you have won a game here on the stream. Don't tell me that. Uh, well, you've won in a game in this stream before. Okay. Anyways, now this town center will go down, and that's going to be it. That's gonna be it. There we go.
And... And... Good game, good game. Th thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you for your service! And that's it. Wilkas has been defeated. And probably now he would think, why? How? Yeah, it is. It, it was especially fun when uh, Yellow uh, ran back with everything instead of taking your TC. It was interesting. Yeah, Yellow didn't know either. But yeah, Bercy deleting his town center in a sudden dead game. What, what 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 could be wrong with that? It's all good. Let me let me close my uh, my uh, my my door because still there is a lot of sound from outside. But yeah, I just watched Red Full Retreat. It was great. Says Pope Team. What, what yeah? What, what happened here? Yeah, because he was being attacked by Willis. Um, and then he and then uh, Bercy. Well, he just ran away with all his villagers. Made a new base in here. And deleted his town center, <laughs> thinking that he, could, that he could make another one. Well, <laughs> that was uh, that was unexpected, but funny at the same time. It was nice. Let's go and check out the, the statistics now. Uh, here, because there is no sound of fire right there. But yeah, military-wise, you can see that Versi killed the most amount of units with 442. The one who lost the most amount of units was uh, uh, Pop Team with 367. The one who raised the most buildings was Pop Team with 63. And the one who lost the most amount of buildings was uh, Cloud Cho with 48. Units converted, one by uh, Blood's Blood. Uh, well, still there, I don't know what he converted. Ah, no, I have no idea what he converted. Let me 172 by Wilkas. Economy, you can see that the food, stone, and gold collected, of course, is going to go for Poptim because Feitoria. And the wood collected goes for Wilkas. He got a lot of wood. And, uh, and yeah, that, that's going to be it. There is no trade, no nothing else. Technology, you can see that the first one to get to the Imperial to the Field Age was uh, uh, Silner. First one to the castle, Bercy. And the first one to the Imperial Age was Pope Tame. The first one, that, well, Pope Tame also had 52% of the map explored, winning, and 51 uh, research. research made, which is 54%, our friend that he could have done. Society, 7 castles for both Pop Tame and Versi, race capture 3 by Pop Tame, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Versi had more, right? Well, he had them for, for a longer time than uh, than uh, than, uh, uh, than Pop Tame. Yep, uh, it's society, right there. Yes, he got the same amount of relics, but he had it for longer time, which means that he will get more gold. Mid hike, 119 for Wilkas, and the timeline right here. Bercy and uh, Wilkas, they had huge armies, and they were both beaten. One got, got beaten because he didn't... Uh, <laughs> because he didn't know what sudden, sudden death was, and the other one was beaten because he probably didn't know about this being sudden death either. It, it's one of it's, it, it was really weird, really. To to to, to I, I don't know what to say, guys. I really don't know what to say. Um, of course, Ace of Emeralds protected his town center with all his might. Pop Tame probably he thought I would not lose my town center, man. And, and since Bercy didn't know about that, that is, that is why he didn't take down the, the town center either. Probably he didn't notice that when uh, uh, Matthias' town center went down, it said defeated. It, uh, it probably he thought that he that the guy resigned, but no, it was defeated. But yeah, he never noticed about that. This is good. This was good for Popting, who came all the way from this side, took down a town center, came all the way from this side, and took another town center. This is actually a good strategy, I, I would say. Silnear, well, he didn't make uh, the, the best uh, defense in here, but once again, Japanese uh, 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 weak weakness are probably bomber cannons, arbalesters, and all that stuff. That is hard to deal with, especially especially Mongols, especially Mongols. Anyways. That was the last game of the day, the winner of course being Pop Team, it was nice to have, 